Halo, di kesempatan kali ini, gue akan memberikan informasi mengenai 3 player e-sport dengan pendapatan terbesar di dunia per Januari 2020. Jadi, selamat datang di channel gue bersama gue, Pandora. Kita mulai dari yang pertama, Johan Notel Sunstein. Pria 26 tahun ini memiliki nama lengkap Johan Sunstein. Pria ini lahir di negara Denmark pada tanggal 8 Oktober 1993. Hingga kini, Notel memiliki pemasukan sebesar 6.890.591 US dollar yang setara dengan 9 triliun 480 miliar 338 juta 27.170 rupiah. Jumlah pendapatan ini didapatkan dari hasil dominasi dari memenangi pertandingan Dota 2 internasional. Sampai saat ini, Notel masih berada di peringkat pertama untuk player Dota 2 dunia. Dan berikut ini, 10 hasil pendapatan tinggi dari Notel. Sampai saat ini, Notel telah menjuarai kurang lebih sekitar 26 turnamen, runner up sebanyak 19 kali, dan urutan ketiga sebanyak 28 turnamen. Total pendapatannya diprediksi masih bisa bertambah lebih banyak lagi, mengingat masih banyaknya pemasukan dari sponsor serta info-event yang diikuti oleh Notel. So I'm Yesabainika, playing with the nickname Jurex. I grew up in Helsinki, in this like uh, pretty funny neighborhood. I had a lot of friends that uh, like PCs at home even before us having PCs at home because it was rare back then. We like played together like board games even, not just PC games all the way. We played Alpha Centauri, which is like really close to Civilization V, like Age of Empire. Things that are really involved in the strategy. Also, the board games we played was like Catan. It's actually pretty RNG based, but uh, then Age of Steam and Civilization as well in board games. Like all these games are like, very heavy in strategy. I think uh, when we grew older, like uh, we still had the same group. And we kind of developed like uh, the way we play. We took it more serious and. Uh, We came up, tried to be innovative in a way. That's like how I got introduced to actual gaming and uh, to like interact with other people at the same time. Dota was like when I was 15, I uh, started a player called Nama, who was in the same school with me. He introduced me to Warcraft 3. He was playing it uh, on a pretty high level back then. And his brother was playing competitive and uh, He said that uh, this game might be something and I, I went to his home and watched how he played and he took me to Dota 2, he actually didn't care anything about it but uh, I got into it after some time. Di tempat kedua, kita memiliki player e-sport bernama JC Jurex Vainika. Pria 27 tahun ini memiliki nama lengkap JC Vainika. Pria ini lahir di Finland pada tanggal 7 Mei 1992. Sampai sekarang, besar pendapatan Jurex menduduki tempat kedua sebagai player e-sport dengan pendapatan tertinggi kedua, yaitu sebesar 6 juta. 470.000 US dollar dari total 64 turnamen Dota 2 yang pernah ia ikuti. Dan berikut ini 10 pendapatan tertinggi yang pernah diperoleh oleh Jurex. Sampai saat ini Jurex telah menjual naik kurang lebih dari 16 turnamen Dota 2, run up sebanyak 10 kali dan 12 kali menjuarai di tempat ketiga. I was born in Melbourne. I lived here my whole life until I was 16 and played professional Dota. I first started playing Dota when I was like really into it. I was just playing non-stop for like 10 hours a day. 
My mom, she would tell me to go to school, but I would like try to get out of it. But sometimes play late, the next day cannot get up earlier, on time go to school. I would eventually get sneaky with like how I get on the computers, use the camera to like film what password my mom's writing so I could like see it and stuff. I reckon Nathan's always been shy. That's I think that's how he gets away with being sneaky. He never shows you his entire hand. He always has something hidden or up his sleeve. It allows him to have an advantage that you don't know. Whenever I play and I lose, I just feel like I know what I could do better next time. Like, I just keep learning, like, every time I lose. From a young age, she was always playing games, but I never thought you could win money from playing games. <laughs> Eventually, IG came forward and was like, hey, do you want to give it a shot with us? You know, it's any boy's dream. So when the opportunity comes out for your brother, you can't help but say, do it. But my mom was a bit hesitant, but my brother like kind of convinced her. When he go to Shanghai, that's my hometown. So that's why I decided to send them go to China to see if he have this talent. I didn't think that was a thing you could do, leaving Australia to pursue a career in Dota. That sounded like a made-up story to me. So when I first joined IG, I was like super happy and like it was the best day of my life. It was like one in a lifetime opportunity. The best moment was definitely winning my first tournament in Beijing. I remember like one of the first comments I saw was just like, Anna, I thought it was a girl. Like everyone thought it was a girl at the start. So it was just funny knowing, just like, nah, he's my brother, he's a guy. <laughs> It was the NEA tournament where Anna kind of reached the spotlight with IG, and that's where the interest and the action kind of picked up. Player e-sport berikutnya yang berhasil menduduki tempat ketiga sebagai player dengan pendapatan terbesar adalah Anatan Anna Pam dengan nama asli Anatan Pam. Dia kelahiran Australia 26 Oktober 1999 ini memperoleh penghasilan terbesar ketiga dengan nominal 6 juta 411 US dollar. Selama bertanding di Dota 2, Anna telah memenangi kurang lebih 8 turnamen, runner-up sebanyak 4 kali, dan juara 3 sebanyak 3 kali. Dan berikut ini, 10 pendapatan terbesar Anna Pham. The biggest turning point of my career was when we lost DAC, and it was against my old team IG. Sekian dulu video informasi mengenai tiga player e-sport dengan pendapatan terbesar di dunia. Semoga bisa menginspirasi dan membuka wawasan kalian mengenai e-sport. Akhir kata, gua Pandora. Sampai jumpa di next video dan bye bye. Stay.